it's time for a new road to glory and in the past two years we always did it around one specific player first Latan Ibrahimovic then Cristiano Ronaldo and this year it's Thierry Henry of course you've seen it in the title and thumbnail already but that's the play we're gonna do I really enjoyed watching him when he was still playing and now that he retired he's still so fun to watch because it's just a funny guy who scored in that game oh if you're new here and you have never seen one of my Road to Glories before, I always build teams around the teams that he've played for. And this year, I'm going to do the same thing. And let me show you what is the best way to start the game. Obviously, we got to load into Ultimate Team. And we should get some bonuses and everything as well. First, we got some important choices to make. And this is the first choice. Obviously, since Henri is French, we're going to choose France here. Doesn't really matter too much. You can't really get a good player from it. But since we need to build a French team anyways, we go for France. Then we can advance and then we can select a high rated long and don't worry if you click on this one and you get an option here it doesn't really matter you can always back out and go for a different position and see what options there are so you can really choose the best player for example Coleman would be a good one for us and even though Raiden looks like a better card than Coleman and is just a better card I think we will go for Coleman it gives also one game more that we can play with him and it's just a very good card for now so that's the first thing done now we can choose a kit and here you want to go for a popular one that usually sells on the market because these are tradable obviously he played for Barcelona Barcelona is a good one. I think that's also going to be more expensive than Germany. So let's go ahead and choose it. And here we have Barcelona as well. There's no other team here that is bigger that would sell for more. So let's choose that as well. And here badges don't really sell, but we will go for France. And there we go. We got our starting 11 and we should have some starter packs as well. Member Evo, sure. Send this to the club. And here we can exit. And then we're in the menu. As you can see, we have zero coins, but we can quickly change that. If we go to the club, we go to stadium. So switch this around because we want to have coins coins are very important especially at the start and i don't know what happened this is out of nowhere untradeable is it really no, there we go. I just wanted to say, like, on the web app, it was tradable. So there we go. You can't search for a badge. So we're going to send this to the transfer list. we got to look at that on the market if it sells for anything. Worst case scenario, we quick sell it for 485 coins. But these are a little bit easier. We switch this around and now they should be all tradable. Let's compare the price. Like this, you have to scroll a lot. But as you can see, it's probably around 1500 coins. we got to check on the market what the real price is. So let's send them to the transfer list as well. And this one seems to be a little bit more expensive. So right Right away from the start, we're going to get a few thousand coins, which is huge. If we then go to the store, we got some packs here. Some of them being tradable as well. Let's start with the silver pack. Doesn't really matter. And just to be sure, we want to check every player. But what we're going to do, we're going to sell every player. We need the coins. We already have a Barcelona player here. As you can see, this one is like 1,800 coins, 1,700 coins probably. Let me send it to the transfer list and sell it all in a second. We got some trail packs here as well. Maximum 83 rated, but potentially it could be an inform. Nothing special here, but let's all sell it. We need the coins. Next one is a tunnel. The first time we see a tunnel on this game, at least on this account, And there's no one really worth mentioning. This pack also wasn't good, so let's send it to the transfer list. Let's get those coins in. The next one is actually Molina, who might sell for a little bit more than just a discard player. The same with Bayer because he's quite fast. And here we got the last pack. Probably might even discard them. We'll just check the prices in a second. We got a lone player, which is Lewandowski from Barcelona. A pretty decent lone player to have at the start, I would say. Now we got two bad packs. This gave absolutely nothing. But Diallo or something could even be decent for the start. And a gold player pack. Okay. I was hoping for a tunnel here. Another Barcelona player. But of course, we want to open up preview packs as well. Silver doesn't really matter. But for an off chance, there's like an in for a minute. You might as well check it. And sometimes there's a manager or something that is worth a lot. Time for the gold preview pack. Doesn't look good either. Unless there's like a shadow and a few thousand coins in it. This is not something we want to buy. An anchor is like 1400 coins at the moment. Definitely not worth it. Five minutes later. Okay, so I've listed everything we had tradable. A few items have sold already. This guy sold for 400. 2000 for the Barcelona kit. And this one, 1000 as well. 800 for him. And then we listed a bunch of others as well. Some of them for quite a bit. Because they could be part of some SBCs that people want to do. I'll talk about that later. But some prices are up. So we listed them. And hopefully 
three day will sell. As we can see, something sold already. And that is Molina for 800, him for 650, him for 600, and him for 500. So we're getting slowly coins. So in case we would have a preview pack where something is inside that you want to buy, with this you can easily get that. The next thing we want to do is head over to the squad building challenges because there's a foundation one. This one we need to do anyways to open up all the others. And these are actually very simple. You look at the requirements. It says one common player, one bronze, and just one player. So it doesn't need to be a striker. It can be any player from your club. So you want to always search for untradeable just to be sure because those tradables are worth money. And you want to choose one from a country. There are not many off. For example, we chose France. Later on, when we need to do more difficult ones and we need better chemistry, then we can use players of the same nation to get that fixed. So for now, I will go for Norway. It doesn't really matter. Position doesn't matter either, like I said. So we can just claim it. And as you can see, we get a jumbo bronze pack. More players are inside there that we can then use for the other SPCs. So let's open it up. Doesn't really matter what's inside. Just a lot of players we can send to the club. And we can do that with all the foundation ones. So let me quickly do that and show you the packs. There we go. We completed it all. And for that, we get a two player pack. Potentially, Henri can be inside of that. And because we completed that, everything is opened up now. We can do anything we want. So we'll look at that in a second. Again, the bronze packs, we can just send it to the club. Everything is untradeable. If this would have been tradable, we would like to quick sell all of these because they don't sell for anything. Then we get some extra coins. Talking about coins, we got 100 coins in an untradeable pack which is amazing the next bronze pack is actually a decent one not that we really can do something with it but there's an arsenal player in it and 200 coins as well we made 300 coins from untradeable packs there's our silver pack same thing send it to the club and here's the gold pack can we get a tunnel no we cannot we get a silver <laughs> So there's one gold in it, the other one ended up being silver. It's some extra players in the club. Doesn't really matter yet. And as you can see, we have enough for a preview pack now to buy if we want to, because some more stuff has sold. And as you can see at the SBCs, there's a challenge here that gives us a rare gold pack that expires in one day, but the requirements are quite tough to do. So most likely we cannot do it from the club yet, but I'm not going to spend coins on it because we want to have as many coins as possible to work our way up to Thierry Henry and he's expensive. But if you would be missing like one or two players, go ahead and do it. If it's not too expensive these are always pretty good to do and somewhat beneficial market matchups is always one that you always want to do every week just make sure you don't pay crazy prices for players because when this gets released usually the prices of the players you need go up in price just wait a few days there's no rush in doing it they will drop down you will maybe pack some and market matchups always give you tradable packs so this could be very good for you and then of course there are some sbcs some player sbcs this guy actually looks insanely good for this point in the game we are not gonna do him probably even though he's there for almost 40 days but he doesn't link to any teams that we want to build anyways so i think this one i'm not going to do on this account on my main account i'll most likely do him and besides that we can work on the foundations two three four and five those all should be pretty easy to do also the packs are not crazy so i'll just do it off recording and then we have the hybrid leagues hybrid nations and league and nations hybrid these always give very good untradeable packs we want to do this once our club is a little bit filled up with untradeable goal players because then we can do this easily we don't want to spend too many any coins on this because you will naturally do it i know you want to get the best players right away i'll make sure we do this in one of the next two episodes and as i've been talking some more things have sold very nice and then we still have some objectives to look at first of all rush is new in this game it seems very fun but with random teammates it could be very frustrating but once we complete this and we get enough points we also get some decent packs and some season progress which we need to complete all of these things with at the end an adama Traore who did play for barcelona so we could use him in that team and at the end an 87 times 3 which is crazy good for the first season they really made it bigger than it was in the previous seasons so it's definitely something we want to work towards but as you can see at the objectives we want to do the daily and weekly objectives so we get the season progress right away and get the packs earlier on and we probably want to try and work on most of these things just to get them done which could be very beneficial at the start of the game but one thing that you want to do almost right away is go to milestones and if we scroll down a little bit we will be here at finishing mastery and if we score 250 goals we get a 100k pack and if you also power shot 50 we get another mega pack and make sure when you do that you also do the assist because if you get 400 assists in total you get another 100k pack and some other big packs and you can literally do this in squad battles go on beginner score like 40 goals a game don't go over 50 because then you can get kicked out and you have it done in no time and if you have a first owned team you can combine it with the first owned objective gives us another 50k pack and some other packs you 
you could potentially do it with silver players and bronze players as well to have that done as well and if you really want to do it well also combine it with this one the league mastery which gives you also 100k pack and some other packs if you do them with specific teams if you combine everything you get close to a million coins worth of packs they're all untradeable but it's definitely worth doing and i think that's what i'm gonna grind in the coming week so we have some big packs and we can hopefully already build a decent team to get into rivals with and one of them that's for me really important is change the club name we're trying while you go there we gotta change this name there we go road to Henri. we made the club we made the name confirm let's go and one more thing because i need your help in the previous series i always build all the teams that the player played for but Henri played only 20 games for juventus and for the new york red bulls there are only three good players in the game that we can build something around so last year we already went to saudi league for ronaldo rather than just his team shall we do that again but now for the mls and do you want me to include juventus as well or do you maybe want me to make just a few teams so monaco arsenal barcelona and of course france so we can really work on the bigger teams and the bigger players in general if you have any suggestions for this series please let me know in the comments this is a series for you guys so if you guys have any suggestions what you want is there something you want me to do do you want me to put certain rules into it let me know in the comments down below and we're gonna make sure this is gonna be one of the best series on youtube it was a very informational video next time we really go into the game into the gameplay going into trading but for now thank you guys for watching and if you want to know how the opposite of a road to glory looks like i opened 100,000 fc points on my main account it's right now on the screen so if you want to see what i got from that go click on it and yeah see you in the next episode thanks for coming man thank you really appreciate right. it